Hi, my name is Veronica DeWitt. I am a certified master teacher of danceability, and I've been teaching at Rosedale School for the better part of eight years. I just would be struck with these choreographic moments that would happen in class, these aha, beautiful art moments of people connecting in, in the language of dance. So I was like, I think, I think we should do a performance. My name is Brian Miller. I've been a teacher at Rosedale for 30 years. I certainly feel this in me and I think I see it in my students as well as it's it's made me feel more comfortable with with my movements, with my ability to move my own body. Through movement class I've learned to, to you know, kind of not be so uptight about that and just just to enjoy the experience of, of moving your body and, and I see I see that in my students also so I see them be much more free with them body and movements My name is Sophia. And my name is Chloe. I'm Sophia's teacher. How does dancing make you feel? Really happy. Why does it make you happy? We do all the dancing. I'm very happy. We do all the formulas. It makes you happy because you're going to work for your performance? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, it makes me feel stress relief. I think it's a good way to move your body differently than you would during the day and it kind of gets out something that needs to get out, so that's why I like it. I love moving around. You like moving around? Do you like the circle part? Being all connected with everyone? Going in the circle? Mm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's one of my favorite parts too, is being able to use all the different abilities that we have in the group and make something out of it that's, that everyone can do and everyone can feel a part of. Boy for it. Okay. I, think we're right. I think it's really cool that we're having all the different parts of the school come together. So yeah, I would definitely do it again. Okay, we'll have one last, last question. Are you excited about the performance tomorrow? You good? Are you? <laughs> Yes, we are. <laughs> Not only was the choreography made by the students and the staff, but then some of the music was made by the students and the staff, and that was really, really exciting to have it be so integrated. Is Carlos. Mo, are you a student here at Rosedale? Mariah, do you like to dance? I think what is the most important thing is just to give people their time. I think that in society, everything is really fast. Respond, 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 action, action, action. And I think that if you give people two, three, four beats, and you just allow there to be silence, there's a lot of responding that happens. It's just subtle. Just subtle movements in people's bodies that are communicating. You just have to give it time 
and be looking for those movements. Not only were we able to make a public performance where people could come experience, witness, participate with the students and the staff at Rosedale, but we could also do it in this extremely gorgeous, beautiful, state-of-the-art building that was constructed with the students' needs and access in mind. What I had in mind at the beginning of the project is definitely not what happened at the performance, but I thought what happened at the performance was far more creative, fun, seeing all the smiles happening all over. A lot of people were looking forward to just having it happen again and we'll see.